If you're new to the lawn care game for whatever reason, one common misconception that people have is what causes thatch. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of the causes of thatch today. I wanna address the question of does grass clippings cause thatch? So if you're running your lawnmower over it and you're not bagging the clippings, you're mulching it into the lawn, is that what causes thatch? Does it contribute to the cause of thatch? The short answer is no, it does not contribute to thatch. This is a common mistake that people make. When you run a thatch rake or an electric dethatcher over, over the lawn, anyone's lawn, I don't care whose it is, you're going to pull up a whole bunch of debris onto the surface. Now, lots of people call that thatch and say, wow, whoever's lawn this is, they should have been bagging their, their mower. Or something is wrong with their soil. Their thatch isn't uh, breaking down. The thing is, that's not thatch at all. That's just grass debris. That's surface debris. Surface debris is not thatch. When a lawnmower goes over, it cuts the tips of the grass. This is, this is a leaf, it's foliage. Thatch is not the foliage. Thatch is usually the stems, rhizomes, and, uh, and to some extent the stolons that exist kind of in that, that lateral side-to-side uh, -side motion that some grass types spread. These things are stemmy, they're woody. It's not a green leaf. Green leaves, when they're cut regularly from a lawnmower, they break down very quickly and they really, they nourish the soil. The problem is the woody stem stuff that accumulates over time, uh, if it's not dealt with, that's what contributes to thatch buildup. That's what thatch is. Grass clippings, not so much. Now, if you have a rhizomatic or a stoloniferous grass type, or you just suspect that you actually have a significant thatch problem, I've got a video linked right up here, all about the best ways to remove thatch or manage it in your lawn. I suggest you take a look. Down in the description, I have relevant links and a little bit of information about me and my credentials.